Hey, Bruno here. Just want to show you what it's like to fly through pretty strong lee side turbulence in mountains. So this was a smoky day on the Wasatch Plateau. Some people know this area as Skyline Drive. And I was just enjoying flying on the ridge lines and I saw this area where it uh, jutted out into kind of the wind and uh, I could either fly around it to the right or I could just fly over it and uh, see what it was uh, like to be in stronger wind conditions on the lee side. So uh, I knew that the winds were uh, strong from the west because of my butterfly vario, very accurate. And uh, when the wind comes up and then curls over, it creates an area of turbulence. And so I knew I was going to be flying through this turbulence, but uh, my wings were full of water. Uh, so I was max gross weight and I was uh, keeping my speed up. And as you can see, I'm starting to hit the turbulence now uh, because if you look to the right, that's uh, I'm way behind now the ridge line. And the airspeed is uh, pretty jumping all over the place during in this turbulence. So it could be uh, gaining 15 knots or losing 15 knots instantaneously. And so it was really important to keep the speed up so that way um, I didn't get down into low controllable airspeed zone where, you know, let's say I hit a big thing, a sink in this turbulence, I wouldn't have the airspeed to then really maneuver out of it and down one of the canyons. Or uh, the other thing is I don't want to be going too fast because I don't want to have... Uh, be in heavy turbulence up in the yellow arc. So in this case I'm flying right at around 90 knots and uh, again you can see uh, here here's the big piece of the turbulence and um, instantly you know, jumping one direction or another. So what this uh, experience really taught me was um, yeah interesting but uh, it was pretty uncomfortable flying uh, through that turbulence. So I either would go out around on the ridge or I would stop and take a little bit of a climb so I could be up much higher because that was uh, fairly low to be in that uh, degree of turbulence and uh, you know just thinking of my options. Now, again I kept my options open with plenty of airspeed and this was not a large area that I knew I'd had to traverse. So it was, you know, kind of more of a testing thing, but, uh, you know, overall interesting experience that would be interesting to share with all of you, but, uh, no, you, you really don't want to fly in, uh, the, the lee side turbulence of mountains. So what's interesting with, you know, I, I've flown this area quite a bit. The winds were stronger on this day and, you know, had the winds only been in the, you know, 15 knot range, uh, the, that that lee side turbulence would have been uh, significantly less but uh, mountain flying is something that uh, you really gotta uh, pay attention to and uh, calculate your risks uh, as you can just see from this I mean you couldn't feel it but uh, I mean the strength of that turbulence was significant and you know the last thing you want to do is to be in a place where you're really concerned about are the wings even going to stay on but uh, thank goodness gliders are incredibly uh, strong and can withstand you know, significantly more than this. But quite frankly, this is just for fun and I wouldn't want to uh, be sitting in a glider that was experiencing a lot more turbulence than this. So again, just uh, a fun day and then I continue just to, to fly down the ridge. But I uh, hope you enjoyed that little piece of turbulence heaven. So thanks for watching and looking forward to sharing future flights with you.